Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Frosty. The snowman. Oh, yeah. It's time for another Zerp. Picks my load up, Mr. Tentacle Face. Here you are. Let's go ahead and take a look at your loot, huh? What in the world is this trash? And Hawkmoon check, no god roll again. Oh! Beautiful. Yo, screw Zerpix, my lord. We're making a video on this. A little bit too aggressive. Nice. Oh, a trade. Trying to shock at me from that far, huh? No, I can't slide. Why? So one shot. I got you, brother. Let's go. Good win. What the roll is this? I got a heal clip and kill clip on it. Do I keep that? It's kind of special, right? Gunnied. Don't challenge me, Valley. What the connection was that? I got your teammate, don't worry! Oh, they threw. They threw. Sliding around. Like, it's not as cracked now compared to what we got. But back in the... When it's released, it was insane. We got so many exotic armor pieces and weapons. <clears throat> what else do we get? I mean, it was two playable destinations. Witch Queen, all I remember is we got an epic campaign and a pretty solid raid. Just like this season, like... What's a good activity when there's, like, no worthy loot grinding for? Like... That's why people are not playing the game. People are not hyped. You got you got the coil, which is a good activity, but like, why would you play? Where, where's the replayable like loot for? You know what I mean? Like, there's not enough. And that was Witch Queen compared to like Forsaken and King's Fall. Forsaken brought us three new supers. So did King's Fall. 
Taking King, shit. Three new supers. Witch Queen brought us the revamp 3.0 revamp and the deletion of the mod system, the build crafting. The superior build crafting. That's a hot take. You don't have to agree. Not even trying to attack anybody. But the previous mod system was way better build crafting than the 3.0 subclasses that we have. Everyone just runs the same thing. There's no really my build. There's It's everyone's build because everyone's running the same thing. No kills? Been enforcing that they never overachieved like Forsaken again. Yeah, they, they even told us like way back like Forsaken was a like, one-time thing. But now they don't have a problem using Forsaken to, for the advantage, right? I just I just don't I just don't see it happening. I don't trust it. There's a reason, like there's a it's careful manipulation of like why Witch Queen is in the same conversation as Forsaken and and the Taking King. There's a reason. 100 percent The crafting in Witch Queen is like is a neutral. It's a really like tough discussion to have because you don't know you don't really know which one was was if it was a goaded decision or not, right? To some people it was it was goaded, to other people it was not. All I know, crafting took off all the excitement of getting loot. Of getting a god roll, getting a five out of five. You did. It is nice that you can craft and then, you know, you don't have to worry about shit RNG. That's very nice. But at the same time, it's like, dude, I just auto delete anything that's not a red border. And I think that's bad too. There's pros and cons. I think they do it okay for now. Like, some areas have non craftable, and some guns are craftable. So, at the very least, we do have like, some remaining not everything is craftable type of thing the only problem they haven't tackled down though is that adept weapons are not like the same or better than craftable guns they made it so you can enhance perks but like that's pointless it doesn't really matter it's way too much investment and effort the witch queen also like if you're a pvp player as well like the witch queen like was the start like one of one of the factors to the downfall of crucible that's when they introduced infinite invis infinite axiom bolts and infinite overshields it all started then and then we got infinite restoration dodge to heal as a hunter with restoration lorely and then arc gave us fucking thunder crash meta Saiten's rampart meta knockout snipe and wipe the whole team meta it was it was just the beginning of the downfall so i i will die on this hill like the witch queen is not on the same level as forsaken and the taking king so i was going on a bit of a rant there to answer one question about whether crucible or destiny will be the same thing as it was before no. i think for pve players usually yeah but if you also enjoy crucible Definitely no. Especially if you enjoyed Gambit. If you're someone that enjoyed Gambit, the answer is fuck no. To you guys, the disappointment and the bitterness is like, like life all, you know? It's like, bro. You know, when you when you end the, the campaign and you're like, bro, what is this? A veil? Like, what, I thought that was gonna be the Avengers. Like, hello? Behemoth bolt. I sent that guy flying off the map. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice try, dude. You're not getting me this time, Dan. 
The slide takes a lot of getting used to. That rift is still up. Oh, wow. Do you just quit? Can you just run at me? Homeboy! Nice. I just tried pinging like it's the finals. <laughs> Huge kill. Oh, you made an orb too. Oh, he's snap skating cringe lord. That's why he's so fast. I'm pretty sure I, I heard the finger snap. It's way faster than you're meant to be. Oh, now I feel bad. That was a lighthouse game. Ouch, bro. Thank you.